All right, so we're going to move on to the fourth match of the evening, and it is a tag match between Tetsuya Naito and Sonata taking on Saber and Taichi again. We talked about a lot of what happened between these two teams early, like earlier on when we were talking about the feuds leading up, but I just love the continuation of the feud the, the, in the like the precursor to the culmination of the feud in this, because this is the last match they'll have together before Royal Quest Two Night Two, mm-hmm. or I think, I think they're be in a tag match on Night One. But it, it just the culmination of the feud during the Burning Spirit Tour. I think just a great match between both these two teams. Like mm-hmm. Saber, I will honestly say, best technical wrestler existing in this world today. I don't think there's anybody better and i know people will yell at me for their because their opinions on brian danielson i think saber's better but like just naito i will always appreciate just the little things he does when he hits a move and then just make any then he talks spanish to a person not even japanese he, he'll make some spanish comment and it'll confuse even a guy like tai chi <laughs> who it, that those are the little things because it, it confuses most guys if they don't know Spanish. So mm-hmm. it, it's it's those small little things from Nido or a face he'll make or like this like kind of just a look he'll give you. He'll just kind of give you like a like sort of a rock. <laughs> like he turns and his eyebrow goes up, but it doesn't like go up with the rubber head kind of go up and how his his one eyebrow will raise a little bit. And it's just mm-hmm. those those little things is why he is such a phenomenal character. Absolutely. Naito is, is arguably one of my favorites in New Japan Pro and, you know, his his subtle, you know, mind messery that he does when he's feuding with somebody. He really likes to get into your head and mess around. And at the same time, he's still able to keep it on a fairly serious plane. And it's actually been very interesting, as we had mentioned earlier, to watch the, these two particular feuds kind of evolve with each other, where Zack Sabre Jr. and Naito have kind of been a little bit more jokey, but aggressive with each other, you know, grabbing the ears, trying to put each other in submissions, whereas mm-hmm. Sonata and Taichi have just kind of been like, you know, doing the peck dance and doing push-ups and exchanging masks and stuff like this, as we saw at the end of this one, which was a mm-hmm. Fun little picture I'll have to find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta put um, that in. That, that's gotta be. Yeah, hopefully, that's showing right now. But <laughs> I really found that picture quite humorous. Like, or that look of just one's wearing the other's mask. But they, yeah, like, like you said, that was post match. The ending did come. Uh, Taichi goes to try to rip his pants off, but Sonata gets him. Ger- tries to German like do the German suplex into the rollback pin, mm-hmm. and the. Uh, Tai Chi or Tai Chi reverse it into a Gato clutch and then rips his pants off part way off to like kind of hook the help hook the pins tighter. I don't know mm-hmm. how it helped, but according to Chris Charlton, it did. And he got the Gato clutch for the win. I just found it very humorous to see that happen. <laughs> and, it, and the fact that Chris Charlton was so like so saying, no, like him using the pants, it helped it helped tighten up the pin. I'm like, I didn't see the physics on how that happened. <laughs> well, trust minute, me, I'm, Chris. I'm going to trust Chris Charlton <laughs> because that man has not lost my trust yet. So, mm-hmm. and between Chris and and Kevin, they they do a tremendous job in filling in any kind of gaps and and anything that we as fans might be missing. Sometimes without us even having to mention it. There's been times where I've been like, "What does that mean?" And Chris will be like, "That means this." And it's like, "Oh, thanks." Professor oh, Chris. Th- that that's the <laughs> best thing about Chris Charlton. He he fills in the field. But post match, uh, there was one comment by Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly goes, "Why don't they just become teammates already?" And then Chris just goes, "Well, why don't they just kiss already?" About <laughs> Taichi and uh, uh, and Sonata with Chris the training. Chris is just the like match. that. <laughs> I no, I absolutely loved it. I just I just laughed. I laughed at it. I was just like, "Oh, it's just so good." It's oh, so Chris. Good. But then post match, Zach and Naito got back into the faces and they're grabbing at each other's ears. Then the ref broke them up and they just both turned to the ref and they both grabbed the ref's ear. <laughs> ear like both each one grabbed an ear. Battle? Yeah, I don't remember, but it just it was just funny that they were just doing the ear thing on the refs, then go back to doing the ear thing on each other. It was just oh, it was humorous. It sounds like I'll something Kenta Sato would allow himself to be put through. <laughs> Very possible. Marty Asani is the full bumper. Yeah, 